Want to know about Windows Server 2016 Core? No problem, just see the video step by step. Subscribe our channel, ask Joy Banerjee, that's it. Thank you. Hi everyone, this is Joy Banerjee from AIKD Support and in this video we will be seeing that how to configure the networking service in Windows Server Core 2016. Okay. So what we will do is we will set up IP addresses Windows Server 2016 Core Server. So I will show you how we can do it because we don't have a GUI console in Windows Server 2016 Core. Okay. So what we need to do is we will add one more nick. Okay, here. So what I will do is I will go to setting and you can see I have a networking here. I just want to switch it to bridge and I will try to add one more nick here and I will select network adapter and I will select bridge and finish. Okay, and I will click OK. So what it will do is it will try to add one more nick here. Okay. So to do to check that I can do a traditional command which we run here like ip config and slash all. So this is going to let you know that how many network adapters we have here. So now you can see we have a network adapter which is as Ethernet zero and another is Ethernet uh, okay one is Ethernet zero another is Ethernet one okay. So here we need to give a IP address. So uh, the both both adapters which we have set, they are set as um, a bridge. So I just want to really reconfirm and see uh, they should be uh, set as bridge. So you can see the both networks are set as bridge. So bridge means they are directly communicated to our um, external network. Okay. So which is whichever the switch and router they are giving the IP address, so it is getting it from there. So before starting I would like to do a reboot and refresh the machine okay to do that I will do a restart computer okay so once it is rebooted then I will show you the next phase okay now we are logged in we can see I can do a IP config and now you can see we have a IP address which is 192.168.9 and 192.168.0.8 uh, uh, okay these are the external IPs which we uh, get uh, into our physical system here so what I will do is I would like to uh, give the IP address uh, um, statically on this machine okay and why I am using two NICs because I will also try to configure uh, NIC teaming here and give the IP address manually. Okay, so what I can do is <coughs> I can open a notepad and see if I can trigger that. Okay, I can trigger the notepad here. Okay, and I would like to note out uh, the IP address here. Okay, so the IP address is 192. Let me uh, start the num log 192.168.0.9. <coughs> <coughs> Let's pick this one, okay? 255, 255, so 255.255.255 <coughs> and the gateway is standard, it's uh, 168 uh, 0 0.1, that is fine. Okay, so now I will let you know what is the tool which we will we can use and configure and give the IP address that is uh, sconfig. Okay, let me do a CLS here. And I will do start PowerShell. Okay. And here I can do sconfig. So sconfig is the utility from where we can configure the code server. Okay. But before we jump into sconfig, what we will do is we will uh, try to configure uh, Nick teaming from PowerShell from the CLI into our Windows Server 2016 core server and uh, we need to select 8 uh, if you go here and you can see I have two network cards one is having the index 1 another is having index 5 okay and uh, one is having the IP address 9 another is having IP address 8 okay so you need to remember this okay what I will do is I will go back here and hit enter okay so here we can see uh, our uh, 
PowerShell has opened. So what I need to do is I will do a cd slash enter and do a cls here. Okay, and I will do a get net adapter. Sorry, uh, net adapter. So it will going to list you the number of adapters which you have here in this particular system. Okay. So now you can see we have Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2, uh, sorry, Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 0. And you can also see the index numbers here, status and the MAC address and the link speed. Okay. So now what we'll do is I will uh, merge these two NIC to form a NIC team. Okay. To do that, I can uh, do that get net LBFO team and hit enter so if we run this command it is not going to list anything because we don't have any nick teaming as of now so we will configure a nick teaming here okay i will show you how to do that if we put a command like new net lbfo team okay the first thing what we need to do is we need to give a name here so i will uh, give it as prod team so when you are using a uh, space you need to put them in a bracket like this like uh, in the quotes and then I will use team members <coughs> the team members will be like ethernet 0 and ethernet 1 okay so again I will put it put them in uh, brackets uh, on quotes ethernet 0 then comma Ethernet 1 okay so you can see the teaming mode which is uh, which we can set as static switch independent I will go for switch independent here okay and there are a few other options like LSCP if you tab it the options will be changing here okay and what else we can uh, mention here nick team load balancing lcp timer so i guess this is fine for us okay so what we have done is we have given the name of the uh, team we have given the team members like ethernet 0 and ethernet 1 is going to use uh, to form the team here and also we are using a teaming mode which is switch independent okay and if i hit enter Okay, it says prod team Ethernet 0, Ethernet 1. Uh, okay. Okay, there is a spelling mistake what I can see here. So that I need to fix. So Ethernet. Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 0. And now if I hit enter. <coughs> it says the invalid argument. Okay. New net will be a flow. Uh, P is missing here. <clears throat> okay, let me do a CLS here. Okay, I just want to clean that and do it once more, and just to make sure that we have the correct things here. <clears throat> I am going to remove this. <coughs> okay, so this time I have given like 
Ethernet 1, Ethernet 0, and the name is Prod Team, Team Members, Teaming Mode. Okay, enter. Team Member parameters are not correct. Okay. How oh, it is not correct? Let's say I remove the quotes as well because they don't uh, carry any space here. Okay, so now I guess. Uh, there, there won't be a space issue or like this or I'm removing the quote here because they don't have space if I if there is uh, any space then I should use quotes uh, but initially uh, in different version in the previous version of PowerShell it does work this is Windows Auto 2016 so probably uh, uh, when there is a required of putting quotes then you should use it that, that is the panda what I believe so let's see now we can see like new net LBFO name equal to prod team team members this looks much better than previous one so now if I hit enter okay now it says uh, do you want to uh, create it so I will put it yes and hit enter okay so now you can see it is uh, created <coughs> okay, and if I do uh, get net LBFO team, now I can see it is uh, production team. Okay, so if we go here now, if we go here in sconfig and hit eight and enter, now I can see there is only one adapter, and uh, that is this one. Okay. <coughs> Now it's automatically pick up an IP uh, from our DHCP server which is there in the back end that's fine but if you want to put it as manual what you need to do is you need to select the adapter index number here so let's say this is the index number 6 so now you can see it has some informations automatically okay so which you can uh, if you want to set it a network adapter here so you will press 1 and hit enter and now you can put it as static or DHCP press S and hit enter now you will give an IP address here like 192.168.0.9.0 so hit enter here and uh, now we need to put a gateway Okay, so now you can also set up the DNS server which it has uh, in the previous one which we can see here. It says 172.29.15.1 So what we can do is I can mark it and copy it here just for uh, just for information so same information which we can use here okay so to set the DNS server you can see we need to select number 2 and now I will give a DNS server IP which is 172 172.29.15.1 okay and now press 8.8.8.8 and edit okay we can do a return here 
now I would like to test that this IP is pinging or not. Uh, so what we need to do is I will uh, go outside here. Open a command prompt and try to ping this IP which is 192.168.0.9 and here enter. So now you can see we are not able to ping it. Okay. And uh, I can uh, minimize this. So what you can do is you can go to the remote management here. Um, this one. Uh, configure remote management number 4. And hit enter. And you can see here we can uh, enable remote management as well as we can configure the server to response to ping. So we can hit 3 and enter. And click yes here. And you can see now it is going to allow the ping response and now we are getting the ping. Okay. So that means our communication is fine and uh, our nick teaming is set up. Okay. This is a long video but we, we just want to make sure that how the networking works you should know. And uh, if I go back and enable, uh, I would like to also enable the remote management from here. So you should understand what is the meaning of remote management and what is the meaning of remote desktop. Okay. Uh, we also, you can see the remote desktop is also disabled here. So what I will do is I will enable the remote desktop here and I will hit E here and enter. And also I will choose the second one which is the best option to really uh, enable it. And this is enabled. Now if I try to take the RDP here, okay, which is a remote desktop for this particular machine. And I want to give a try that this is working or not. 8.0.9 this is IAP and if I try to connect now you can see it is giving us a password username and password the username is administrator and the password is very secret and if I hit ok now you can click yes and now you can see we are able to uh, get the remote desktop so this is how we will do this uh, whole uh, setup of networking in Windows Server 2016. And if you have any question, just shoot out that particular question into the comment section. I will happy to answer them. And if you have any specific query, you can also get back to us from our website, which is aikidsupport.com. And if you like this video, just hit the like button and you do subscribe our uh, channel and you will be getting uh, more videos like this and thank you very much for watching this video till end and hope you have learned something today and this is Joy Banerjee signing off from AI Caddy Support. Thank you.